Good morning, folks. A terrific paper came out just days ago, and it is the elucidation of what we've awkwardly tried to call the lead-in to solar grand minimum, a time when it appeared that the normal up and down of the sunspot cycle had broken and was signaling the deeper minimum to come. Well, this paper succeeds where we attempted to drive focus. Couldn't be happier to see someone else describing the broken cycle lead-in, or as they call it here, an extended minimum, and they found it extended past the deep minimum as well, almost like a recovery period. This is, of course, most relevant because from Chowdhury 2013, one could infer that the next grand minimum is between 20 and 50 years away, and that our current pitiful solar maximum is the beginning of the lead-in, or extended grand minimum. Folks, the SDO 4500, known lately for its anomalies, and we've got another one. Forget the streak damage to the north. Look at this bullseye concentric lens anomaly on the satellite. It doesn't move with the sun, so it's on the satellite camera itself. Yet another ding to the operation. We are expecting an uptake in earthquakes this week, as our condition index is flirting with A range, but the seismicity has been very slow to return. We did have a very odd reading on the Peru quake up over 7.0 on an auto reader in Brazil, but other than that, we are still waiting. As the solar flaring has picked back up and the Earth was dinged by a CME and Corona hole stream, the Uyen system ramped in a big way. We now have two storms matching candidate number nine, Christina south of Mexico, heading west luckily and sparing the coastline or highest winds, and we have another in the North Indian Ocean. I have no idea if anyone in the Middle East is watching this, but if you are, this system will also swing west and it's coming right at the big red X. Top weather story of yesterday was the continued hail and severe weather hitting Belgium, the Netherlands, and the surrounding areas. World Cup pre-matches were cancelled, hail as big as tennis balls, and all due to a high and low convergence on the leading east edge of that Atlantic low. This is the same way it happens when storms fire in the United States. Solar wind is showing calming conditions now. Geomagnetic storms are over and the sensitive meters are regaining a smooth calm. Solar flaring making slow strides, but without major flaring. The northern spots depart with beta class, meanwhile the southern twins maintain beta gamma delta. However, they are mature and may be on the verge of decay. In fact, our focus now turns to the incoming limb. Three large umbras connected by their penumbras and the magnetogram suggest they may not all be of the same polarity. In fact, the larger sea flares we are already seeing this morning are coming out of the new group rather than the departing regions. Between them and what's coming on the north, we'll have eyes on the sunspots again soon. Folks, just four more days. The first stop of the Mobile Observatory project will be with the Miami Valley Astronomical Society. Their Apollo Rendezvous event is at the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery in Dayton. It'll be a terrific event. I'm one of three speakers on Saturday morning. Registration is required, so make sure to hop over there and sign up if you live in Dayton, Ohio, or close enough to come. On the verge of starting the two-nation tour, we are finalizing the Mobile Observatory, finalizing the stops, but we're going to have to take it a bit as we go. Many tour stops are confirmed, including the venues. Those are bluish-green. The locations in black have no confirmation and are just where I want to go. Without some contact from you guys, we won't know where you are and won't have any place to come. Whether it's a restaurant, the parking lot of your business, or a local park, hundreds of you are already helping out with venues in your hometowns as our local contact for the tour. But we still need many more, as you can see. I've got the precipitable water lay pulled up for you guys as we go around the world, followed by current conditions and the shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.